Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about four journal, four important journal which are indexed in Scopus, which are free, both paid and unpaid journal. That is one paid journal and four, three unpaid journals we'll be discussing, and uh, that is related to multidisciplinary engineering, law, um, and many. A subject so watch till the end so that I'll be discussing about what are the key points you should remember before you submit your article to the journal okay so let's just start before I proceed I'd like to tell you that this is my channel if you haven't subscribed it please go ahead and subscribe here why should you subscribe because here you can see there is a playlist so this is a playlist and if you just scroll down you can find the playlist specifically for scopus indexed and um, scopus index journals and for the researchers okay so here you can see Sco SEI and Scopus and Extra Journal. Okay, and if you scroll down, you can also find it for all about the research. So here you can find a lot of useful useful playlist if you are doing your PhD, if you are doing your research. So anything, so please go ahead and watch this. Let's go ahead and see the first journal, which is International Journal of Multidisciplinary Technovation. And here you can see that it is still indexed in Scopus, that is still 2025. Okay and these are the scope of the journal that is material science engineering and environmental science okay let us just go ahead and see like what are the various thing which you should remember before you submit in this particular thing so uh, the first one you have to see is what how many times it is being published so it is actually published bi-monthly that is six six issues per year okay so here you can see jan march may july september and november and you can see there is an article download template and this is these are like time to first decision you can see here that they are taking seven days for the first decision and time to review is two to three months okay after that okay so they will just tell you whether they are ready to accept your journal or not and then next is like these are the subjects they are just including chemistry physics biotechnology civil engineering computer science electrical engineering environmental engineering and everything so it is indexed in scopus and also it is an approved ugc care link as well so you can find it here now let us go and search here like what is um, all about this particular journal this aim and scope and everything okay we have already uh, discussed that and you have a thing called fees okay if this falls under the scope of your article that is scope of your phd then you can just go ahead with this and this is the article processing charge for that okay so this is 25000 inr so the in indian rupee it is 25000 and the foreign authors should be 5500 usd so this is the uh, article process uh, charge and uh, um, so they have a um, uh, waiver discount as well like 25 percentage to be eligible as an applicant uh, so they are offering 25 percentage uh, uh, waiver okay so the important as a waiver or discount request must be submitted if you wanted to uh, ask for waiver request you have to submit it okay all waiver discount requests are evaluated independently and do not influence any editorial decision okay and how to pay your APC they have also given this so if you wanted to uh, write an email for wave off I would recommend you to go to my channel and search for all about research and here you can um, find for the wave off okay so you can just type a uh, editor so letter to the editor uh, requesting for the reducing the APC charge so this particular video will help you to understand how to apply for the wave of okay like a letter email or a letter whatever it may be so this is what uh, and if you are if your article falls under this particular uh, scope you can definitely submit your article here okay now let us go to the second one uh, that is journal of applied science engineering technology and education and this is uh, from 2022 to 2025 and you can see here these are the scope of the journal that is uh, decision science uh, engineering agriculture environmental science all of these 
so if you just click that you can see that this is three issues per year that is they are publishing it three tries a year and uh, you can find about all these information here and uh, here you have uh, you can see that the art author fee okay you just click that author fee you can find that there are no article submission charges okay and um, you can see that all um, for article accepted uh, per jan 2025 article publication all authors from asian usd 700 okay the article publication charges this charge is for the first 12 pages and mean any published a manuscript over 12 pages should you have to pay 50 dollars extra okay so this is what uh, article uh, uh, article submission charges there is no article submission charges but article processing charges you have to pay for this okay so you can find all these other informations here and uh, this is about the future and scope of the journal and what they are exactly publishing so they are publishing these things and you can also find about the quality of the education so the third journal which i want to discuss is the journal of law market and innovation and this is a social science law it's still uh, since 2022 and it's still indexed in scopus so here you can see that there are no submission fees publication fee or, or paid charge fee in this particular journal so it is okay to just go ahead and submit it if you know if you want to know about the call for papers you can see they have already called for the first issue for 2026 i think it's only two issues per year if you just two issues i think if you just go ahead and see uh 2024 they have three issues okay it's a three issues per year okay so uh, if you wanted to submit you can also see that they have already called for for the paper for 2026 so you you can just go ahead here and submit your journal here submit your article here okay so any other thing like um about the journal and everything so you can just go ahead and watch it watch it here okay next comes journal of central banking law and institution so here it's like it's there since 2022 to 2025 You can see that the subject area is social science, law science, sociology and um, political science, social science, public administration, economics, econometrics and finance. So these are the um, subject area scope of the journal. And if you click this, you know, you can find that this is your uh, tri annually. That is three issues per year. They are publishing three issues per year. And if you see here about about the journal that is what i think we are seeing that about the journal and you can also see aim what is the aim what is the scope of the journal what is the publication frequency open access okay no cost to authors and here you can see everything completely here okay and once if you check this if you go to the submission guidelines you can find that the journal of central bank does not make editorial fees for the submission processing of manuscript and publication of the article as well as other materials so there are no fees you have to pay the only thing is you have to submit your journal submit your article and wait for the result okay so what i'm trying to say here is what first thing you have to see is what what is the scope of the journal whether your article has some scope in this particular journal or not okay so that is the first one you have to see if this is satisfied then the next one you have to see is what whether it is indexed in journal indexed in scopus till this particular day here you have you can also check from when it has been indexed if it is 2019 2018 then they will def definitely maintain the quality of that uh, journal throughout so you can just check this first okay the second one is You can open the link and cross check whether it is it is there and then the fourth one you have to check is what whether they are uh, asking for any charges and fifth one if they are asking for the charges then you have to check for whether it is a waiver okay they, they are providing any waiver and sixth one what is the template 
okay so if you are going with the uh, uh, guidelines policy what they are expecting so seventh one is the guideline so what is they are what are they expecting like list of recommendation other information plain manuscript what they really need okay in the submission process and what are the files they require for the submission how you should format it okay everything you should see this after uh, uh, completing this you should also format your paper according to this particular uh, template because even the template if it is not properly aligned your paper may be rejected so make sure that you are doing it properly and then uh, submit it to the uh, journal so submit it to the journal ensure that where you have to submit in few journal they will have online submission like here you have to register and submit it online here if you go to, so for here they are asking you to submit it online in few journal they will ask you to email you so you should know what to do like whether you have to submit or whether you have to email them and once you have emailed it just check your email properly because sometimes few emails will be there in your junk or spam folder we will miss that so go and check in your sp uh, junk or spam folder often daily you should visit at least once your junk or spam folder and then once it is done you can be uh, like once if you get any review you should go through what is the review you have to change even if it is a minor uh, some minor correction major correction whatever it is you have to just go through and do it and then submit it again within the given time okay so if you have any questions related to your research you can reach out to me to through this particular uh, particular link the link is there in the description so i will be definitely there to help you out okay so just watch this and let me know if you have any questions i can definitely help you out uh, i'll meet you soon in the next video take care bye bye have a great day